So I'm Chris Weston, formerly TenGen, just founded Ultimate Food Fight. Uh, I'm going to talk about Lollops. I've got a year's worth of humorous engineering tweets that I've been collecting. Some of you are here. I've seen you. So don't be surprised if you get shown. <laughs> so I, I was really disappointed myself that I didn't remember this <laughs> when this came up. Everyone in the media was like, oh, yeah, this is such a great movie about startups. Totally wrong. This guy's right. Absolutely. <laughs> Ghostbusters is the way to go. So if you work at a big company, you've probably seen this. And I don't think of it as bureaucracy myself. I think of them as meeting planners, right? I, we're resources, they're meeting planners, right? This is what they do. So where's, ah. And this is another thing that they do, right? Um, as well as plan meetings, they send invitations and email. This is something that happens at a big company, right? They use a lot of coffee. The ones I know, huge amounts of coffee to get through this. But what does it do? So you gotta ask yourself, you know, this is, this is what people on the street think of continuous deployment, that we're doing nothing, all right? Because they never notice any difference. It just keeps happening. But of course, you can take things too far, and you can spend an awful lot of time taking things we know how to do and make them completely intractable. All right, some people don't know what to do with this stuff. I'm like, my timing's off. All right, and you know, web engineers are not immune to this problem, right? <laughs> It's not just enterprise development. You know, try and building web applications these days. I, I, you know, I just remember when you just did print statements, and now it's like this complication. But you know, people send you things that they want you to do, <laughs> and you know, it's some hack. Everybody's got some little hack they want to add to your code, and you don't like the hack. So I, I think I'm going to call them this from now on, pollute requests. But if I want to stop getting the pollute requests, this is my new secret weapon, is to use a programming language that nobody likes, right? <laughs> this will stop all pollute requests, is to use something nobody understands. <clears throat> so have you ever caught yourself in an airport, walking along a terminal, scanning the wall at knee level, right? <laughs> and you see the only other person sitting there on the floor, <laughs> and you like want to beg for one of the sockets, right? Because <laughs> this is bad. And it doesn't end when you get to your destination, right? This is the worst part. You get to where you're going, and it's, it's the same problem. I couldn't believe, I recently stayed in New York, $200 a night, 15 bucks for internet. I'm like, come on, give me a break. So this is, I think, a little calmer than DevOps Borat. I considered myself a restful web services expert, but I had not seen this definition before. And I'm looking forward to building some of these in my new venture. I think this will make everybody really happy. This one, I think, sums it up well. <laughs> Here's Mandy in the front row, right? Same sentiment, you know? And I love the, the fact that, you know, Nagio Zero is synchronous, whereas Inbox Zero is asynchronous, so it's not as important. And this one, one of my faves. You know, I want the Nagios plugin that tells me in Majel Barrett's voice that the database server will crash in 27 seconds, right? <laughs> because it's predictive, and I'm waiting for this so badly. <clears throat> a lot of people think that EC2 has solved all our problems. So the fantasy of, of uh, capacity planning is gone. But it's just causing more problems than it's solved, right? People are just going completely crazy. Thousands of nodes, yeah, go to town. Of course, that's not necessarily you know, completely crazy if you had something to stop you. But everyone's fighting that really hard now. Everyone wants tools that will just generate more nodes. And you run into problems like this, where people try and slow you up. And that's not entirely a bad thing, because you also run into things like this, where somebody, oh yeah, I saw that these people were doing this, and they're completely full of it, and it's some startup that's dead, or their thing is you know, completely gone. <clears throat> and this, of course, I love the no-ops fantasy. You know, I've, I've, I've been to a place like this, and yeah, well, we don't need these people anymore. Amazon's doing it all for us. I'm like, yeah, they're, they're telling us when Virginia's down and our website's gone and we don't have to worry about that anymore. It's completely not a problem. This was totally awesome. The, sh the link here, the jump link, is to a blog post from some guy who's complaining about DevOps and tools like Chef and Puppet because he's got to put his servers together by hand so that he knows what's on them, right? And if you've seen these tweets before, which it didn't sound like you had, you would know that this is true, <laughs> that I barely get work done. All right, I think that's it. 
Thank you.